looking for the stun on Dada, who's already used his ghost. Yeah, does have the flash available, of course, playing up he got so, so incredibly far. There's the ignite. Clear loves there as well, and him slowly building a lead. Yeah, and of course he has the one v one here as well, but doesn't have the range advantage as Black Shield comes through. Love City gets ignited. Those death. He finds the last passive, and the ignite going to be enough to secure the kill. And two v two under the tower. EDG pick up another one. Dade just going to wander past that Orbit Deception. Nice death ray to come through. Gravity Field. Pawn not going to blow the ultimate just yet, but does use it to dodge out of the way of that Sphere. Clear Love comes through as well. Lands the Sonic Wave onto Condi. Not exactly the target he was looking for, but oh, was that the stun? The Tibbers comes down. Condi's going to die. And Clear Love helping out with another kill now as Pawn actually picks up the kill credit. And EDG just seamlessly transition into this first dragon. And now that's a double buff. Ari in the mid lane. Things not going the right way for Masters 3 at all. They pull on the rift against whoever they are with, and Dade, oh my goodness, I feel like we shouldn't have even shown that. He <laughs> build with the Bloodthirster first, as the culling comes through in the bottom lane, Candy taking a lot of harassment. Yeah, it does, but Condi in position. Yeah, Mako gonna get stunned up here as well, there's a Phosphorus Bomb, Condi picks up the kill, the heal from death not quite enough as the spear lands, but Condi not wanting to push his advantage as well. Looking for the kill, probably will get it. Yeah, looking for it. Now there's the Spirit Rush to come down, Foxfly. There's the flash over the wall as well, but Dade looking for something. Koro is there for a little bit of support. Ridiculous. They're picking up exactly where they left off last night. They they most certainly are, and that series was ridiculous. As Dade gets caught by a charm, the Chaos Storm comes down, but... Ooh, the Spear's gonna find Pawn here, but Clear Love's gonna find him as well. Love City pops the Soul Shackles. Clear Love's gonna get stunned up. It's a double kill though for Pawn. Clear Love survives yet again somehow. Mako throwing down Tibbers there to help his jungler. Evolution with the fact that the Trinity Force should come in roughly the same time as well. Yeah, Connor gonna get caught by a charm and he is dead. Ah, uh, takes a little while. Doesn't look like they wanna go anywhere near neutral territory at this point, so EDG will be able to pick up their second dragon of the game. Yeah, a whole lot of deep vision for EDG around this blue side jungle of M3. They knew that they weren't spotted at all. I mean, and we see Clear Love and Mako rotating through the jungle. They've caught someone out. Yep, Love City's been caught here as well. Soul Shackles to come down, but Love City's gonna die before it goes off. The Chaos Storm Pawn actually having to be very careful. Candy gets the shutdown, but EDG, they finish off Dade at the same time. Candy. Taking a bit of damage from Mako here as well, who manages to solution. He's going to have a whole lot of extra movement speed, a whole lot of extra AoE damage here as well, and his burst potential coming down with that first crit. As Dade gets caught by another charm and pawn. I mean, I guess that shield was helping a little bit as he gets stunned up here as well. Clear Love actually going to tank the black shield as Love CD is going to take so much damage from that Tibbers Looper with a decent flank here. The Hyper Proc not available on a pawn, but the spear from Condi finishes him off as. Clear Love comes around, Looper not quite with enough rage in his Narbar and Red Buff doing a fair bit of damage to Clear Love, doesn't have a whole lot of armor just yet, focusing on that magic resistors. There's the Sonic Wave, Koro comes through with the Twisted Advance, Black Dark Binding though, he's going to lock him down for just a little bit, Condi has to worry about how much mana he's got at this stage as he's healing up Looper to the best of his ability, this Red Buff was being so frustrating as there's the wallop under Koro, but not going to save Condi as Clear Love picks up his third kill of the game. Stole this one out, actually looking for a kill on the mid lane. Clear Love goes in. Oh, there's the flash tippers as well over the wall. Dade, this is adding insult to injury now. That Chaos Storm not going to be doing too much at all as Tibbers to go, and Looper's now being caught out by Deft. Yeah, caught out by the AD carry is the tanky top laner. As there's the culling. Looper may actually die here as well. Oh, the last hit, not quite enough. Deft flashes for the kill quickly and I guess the question that M3 has to ask themselves now is how do they turn around from hell as well? They tr they even try and play simple out. Wow. Okay, yeah. Um, Pawn is going to kill Condi. There's Koro. There is a Seraph's Embrace onto Condi and Love City looking to try and get a ward down here. The culling coming through the wall. There's a Twisted Advance actually onto Love City. Koro very deep in this fight. Dade with a lot of burst. Koro is going to take down Love City though and flash away. Nice gravity feel going to stop death. But in comes Pawn with so much damage. The miss of the Gnar there by Looper as Pawn picks up Dade with the end of that ignite. And EDG, they get the gauge that they're looking for. And Candy, he has to be very, very careful. Now house goes wide. As the rockets are coming down as well, and M3. Oh my goodness, the aggressive Relentless Pursuit. He wants Condi, doesn't find the last hit. 
of that passive. Go actually waiting for a pick here as well. So much up front CC to come through, and the burst damage from Pawn will be absolutely terrifying. Doesn't quite have the Void Staff completed, but that when it is finished, that's five item Ari at 27 minutes, 28 minutes into this game. And once again, looking for Condi. Yeah, actually, Spirit rushes into it. Look at the damage! The Seraph's Embrace Shield nowhere near enough as the Charm actually goes wide. Candy with a lot of burst, but there's the safeguard from Clearlove, and just kicked in the head. Flashes out of the way of the Soul Shackles here as well, but then wants to go back in for some more. Mako running through so quickly. Dade gets the focus as the gravity field onto the little Annie. Is Annie going to die? Looper trying to take him down, and Mako doesn't even get killed by the Chaos Storm. And EDG, it's close to an ace. Only Love City available as the Surrender Vote, no doubt, comes through. And EDG, once again, what a ridiculous performance. Yeah.